Hey y'all, we are having problems with coons, or raccoons as y'all call them, getting in our soured corn and the chicken feed that we've been using to bait our hogs. So we're going to try to trap them. We're setting coon traps right here in the yard. We've got two set already out here where we've got some corn sowing to catch some pigs with. It smells terrible. Trap, another one right there. About to put two more out where we got some chicken feed souring. Yep. That one is called Coons 4. Got a little hair stuck in it. We got them on these metal fence posts because they won't drag them too far. And they'll just reach in there. Got it set with peanut butter and almonds. They'll reach in there and grab that lever and pull it up. And when they do, it's got that little bar in there that'll close and catch their feet. That way you ain't got to worry about catching a dog or nothing else but a coon or a possum. Right here by the gravity flow wagon we've had that dad custom built. Had it since I was a little tiny thing. What we keep our corn in. And then we sour it for a while until it smells god awful. And the pigs love it. Got our trap set tied up to the T post. And two more out there where we keep the chicken feed. <laughs> this is some chicken feed we've got that we've been baiting the pig traps with too you can see where they've been in it scratching around put one here and one over here it's in our barn our redneck camo jet ski we ain't <laughs> using you Things have been well used. And usually with trapping, you don't want to be barefooted and all because you leave a lot of scent. But since this is in our yard, it don't really matter. They're used to it. Oh, yeah. Take one closer to the camera and show them what we're doing with this. Well, to set it, you got to squeeze that right there and take that lever and put it in that notch. Simple. And that little thing right there goes off and catches him. Pick 
a little foot in the ground. Put a little on the outside, give him a taste for it. dirt on the thing. That's not sanitary. Be sticking back in the jar. dirt never hurt nobody. Especially not a coon. I'm talking about us when we go to eat this peanut butter later. Right. <laughs> It'll be fine. first. Mm. You can see all the peanut butter on my hands. Because it's in that tire over there. This is our last trap. I'll just stick a little peanut butter on the outside. You can see the little lever down in there that they pull. And then it's just a little loop like that and it pulls it up when it goes off. Yep. Dog proof. Dog proof. Won't catch nothing but a coon or a possum. Something they can grab. Yeah, something they can grab. So I can make me a pillow. Great value, cheap peanut butter. You can bake the trouts with anything. We've used marshmallows, peanut butter, jelly, fig preserves, anything. But right now, this is what we got to work with. Peanut butter, we fresh out of marshmallows, so what we used. So which do y'all like? Dad's Toyota? Or my new Chevy? My old Paul Fig Pen and Chevrolet. We got them set. Dad will check them in the morning, and if we caught some, I will probably skin them out to make either a blanket or some pillows, if we catch some. Hopefully we do. Appreciate y'all.